All right, so this is how my drawers arrived in this big old box. Excuse my doggy. <laughs> and it did have a big fragile sticker on it, which is really good. So they'll be really careful with it. All right, so let's crack this open. I'm going to speed it up here so it won't be so boring. But um, inside were all these little, I don't know what you call them, but they were packed very, very well, which was really surprising because I was expecting a little bit less. <laughs> anyway, uh, this one looks like it's one of the two drawers. This one here looks like it's, I think this one's the five drawer if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this one's the five drawer. And the other two drawer that's in there. <laughs> Alright, so here is just to show you that it's from the Muji site. And the prices here are the five drawers are $27.95, the two drawers are $25.25, and the total was $92.40. That was including the shipping and handling. All right, so these things were packaged very well, like I said. So as I was removing a layer of bubble wrap, another layer was under it, and so on and so forth. They had about three layers of bubble wrap, which is really good. And um, after opening it, actually, there was another bag that they were in. <laughs> Alright, so I finally got it off and that's what they look like and don't worry about that sticker because it's actually on the plastic bag, it's not on the actual drawers so I won't leave any uh, adhesive marks or anything like that. Alright, so let's open this bag and those are my kids walking around back there. <laughs> but um. It looks pretty good. It just had a tiny, tiny little dent in it, but it was fine. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. And um, this is what they look like all stacked together. So the five drawers on the bottom and the two, two drawers are on top of them. And if you want to stack them however you want, they will be perfectly fine and stable because they have those little rubber grips on the bottom of each corner so that it won't be wobbly or anything like that they stand on top of each other great. So here I just wanted to show you the difference in the height. So two of the two drawers stacked together is a bit taller than the five drawers by itself. So here you go. I just wanted to show you that real quick and let's get on with how I store everything. All right guys, so continuing with the Muji drawers, I already have them here set up on my vanity and this right here is the two drawers stacked together. I'm gonna be honest, it did take me quite some time to arrange these because I really had to put some thinking into this. I mean, you wouldn't think you would, but you actually do because you have to um, set everything around and play with it until it's to your liking, so. Let's go ahead and get started on this. Down here, the reason why I did order the two drawers was because I knew that my paint pots and my color tattoos were not gonna be able to fit in the five drawers. So down here, um, you can see you have a paint pot that fits perfectly in here with still a little bit of space to go. But if you wanna see the total capacity of the height of this drawer, you can go ahead if you have these Urban Decay single shadows. These are probably the old on packaging but if you have them two of them fit exactly the same height so they close perfectly just to give you an idea there or I also have this uh, Mica Beauty Cosmetics uh, gel liner and it fits perfectly this one I got in the Ipsy bag that one fits perfectly standing just like that on its side and so does the fluid lines by MAC. They also fit perfectly standing on their side. So they are exactly touching the edge of that drawer right there. So anything a little bit bigger than that will not fit, just to give you an idea. This drawer gave me freaking hell because I could not get it to work. So 
what I had to do was, first of all, I tried stacking these tart ones. Well, I mean, these MAC blushes, I tried stacking them like that. This will not close, it stays right there. Because as you know, the MAC packaging has like a dome shape on the top of every single packaging. It could be a powder, a pressed powder, and it'll still have the dome shape on the top. So that prevents it from being stackable. The tart. The tart ones fit perfectly if you want to stack two of them together. Three of them is pushing it, but two of them stack perfectly. See? So what I had to do was, because I couldn't stack two of these Max, I had to lay all of my tart ones flat, which I only have four, but I laid them all flat, like that, and put a Max on top of them, because like that, they fit fine. And I also have, well, this one came out, but I think you already know that these drawers all come out. But, so I would put them right on top of the tart ones. And then I have here um, a NARS blush and highlighter dual thing. And it fits like that as well. So, that's how I did those. Here, um, you can... I tried stacking, these are the um, Urban Decay uh, highlighters. Two of them fit great. To give you an idea, the Hula Bronzer fits perfectly fine. And the Bahama Mama, I tried putting it under the Hula, but it does not close, as you can see. Um, the Bahama does not fit. So I had to put the Bahama Mama under that, and if you have this uh, baked blush by Urban Decay, it fits on top of that perfectly. Also, the Mary Luminizer fits under or on top of any of your um, MAC packaging like that. And as well, you can put a NARS um, bronzer with the Dior packaging on top of it and it closes fine as well. Oops. Like that. So. I can't leave these two stacked up like that because um, I still need to put um, this skin finish in. So what I have to do is either put them on top of the skin finishes or put them on the bottom, whatever, but just like that because they will not close. Um, to give you an idea here, like I was saying about the dome shape, even if it's a powder, uh, you cannot stack them like that. It will not close. And that sucks, because that's what I've been trying to do, but it won't close, so you have to do them single, just like that. Um, another uh, idea so that you can get a glimpse of how these are, these Studio Finish Concealers will not stand like that. The drawer will not close. Well, if it falls, it'll close, but... If it stays open like that, you see, it gets stuck. It will not close. So they have to be in single layers as well. Um, another idea, uh, the Stila um, One Step Corrector fits perfectly in there, laying flat. Um, I did try to put these foundations in there. This mineralized uh, moisture foundation definitely does not fit. That does not fit at all. This um, face and body does fit though. This one fits perfectly fine. Let me show you. Like that. But that mineralized one does not because the bottom of the um, packaging flares out a little bit towards the end there. But anywho, that's that. Oh, if you're wondering what other foundations fit in there, um, the Urban Decay Naked Foundation fits in there. Um, these fit in there. Um, I believe True Match fits in there. I'm not sure. I'll check for you right now. But this one does not fit. So the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo does not fit in there. And, um, this one, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and see if they fit or not. Um, let's take these out. This one does not fit. So the L'Oreal, um, what's this called? Magic Smooth Souffle, what's it called? Yeah, Magic Smooth Souffle does not fit. Um, 
Nope. It's, it's way too tall, so that one does not fit. But all these fit in there perfectly fine. Let's see what else I can think about to give you an idea. Um, this um, Fix Plus. No, this Fix Plus does not fit in there. All right, so that was just an idea. All right, so now let's move along to the uh, five drawer um, system here. All right, so these are extremely uh, tiny drawers. Nothing but lip stuff pretty much fits in here. So, um, as you can see back there, I have the old Urban Decay ones, and you know that the packaging is wider here at the bottom. So, as soon as you hit the bottom, it is exactly flush with the top of the next drawer, so that fits perfectly in there, but not a millimeter more will fit. So, anything higher than the back of that lipstick will not fit at all. So, um... Here, uh, same thing, uh, lip glosses fit in there, um, these things fit in there, but what did not fit was my uh, MAC Tender Tone. It was a little bit too, like I said, the packaging is rounded off at the top, so it closes, but it drags if you want to open it. So you see it actually pulls out the top drawer when you try to open it, yeah, so. Um, I just kept that out. Um, what else? You can fit mascaras in there perfectly. Um, they fit pretty good, but that's pretty much it. All you can do is fit uh, lip products in there or anything else that shallow. Or you can even put palettes in there. Uh, let me show you so you'll have an idea. Let's take this out. And let's put in a popular palette. Um, let's grab this one. All right, so Urban Decay uh, Naked 2 palette fits in there perfectly. Um, and uh, let's see if this fits. All right, so. Okay, Urban Decay palette fits in there perfectly. Let's try stacking the Naked Basics on there. Oh, it does not close. Ah, it sucks, it doesn't close. Let's see what else can we can stack on top of there, just to give you an idea. All right, so the Lorac Pro palette is, in my opinion, it's thinner than the Naked Basics palette, so let's see if this will close. Okay, it closes, but the same thing with the Tender Tone, it drags the top drawer out. Um, and actually, no, it doesn't close all the way, it'll be too forced. So that doesn't fit. Um, let's see, this new tube palette. No, this one's even bigger. All right, so right now I can't find anything to stack on top of this. Um, oh, there you go. Okay, I found this. So this um, Balm Jovi palette from the Balm fits and the drawer closes along with the Naked, the Urban Decay palette. So if you want to put that under there, and then put the Naked palette on top of it, it'll close. But it does drag a little bit, so let's try putting the other Naked palette in there. Let's see how that works. Mm. Alright, it closes guys, but it's pretty tight. So let's take this out. So yeah. As just to give you kind of an idea of the thickness. So you can put this palette in there with the Naked palette, but it is just a tad bit tight. So that's that. Um, let's see. What else can I say? Okay, let's try these lipsticks. These MAC lipsticks. Um, let's see if they can be stackable. No, they can't be stacked on top of each other. Freaking bummer. Okay, so you can't stack those on top of each other either. Damn, these things are really shallow. Um, I really don't know what else to... Okay, let's grab these things up here. 
these balm. Oh, these fit perfectly. Okay, this is an awesome example. I'm, trying, I'm glad I tried that. The uh, balm blushes, they fit in there. Stacked perfectly. So these are exactly, actually you still have a tiny bit more space here. Let's see if three, no, definitely three doesn't fit, but two fits perfectly fine. The drawer opens and closes. What else? Um, let's see the sharpener. The sharpener, the ground house, I mean ground house, ground house sharpener from Urban Decay fits perfect. So if you wanted to put that in there, you could. Let's try one of these um, cheek stains. Nope. All right, these do not close. So yeah, that's the reason why I got the two drawers and the five drawers, just because I knew that a lot of things were not gonna fit. So if you wanted to go ahead and try a fluid line by MAC and stick it in here, um, this is the five drawer, let me remind you. Uh, it closes, oh, actually it doesn't even drag. Let's try some more. Let's try putting three fluid lines in there and see what's up. Oh, see, it pulls out the other drawer. But if that doesn't bother you, it's not really that tight. You know, if you can live with that drawer pulling up or you can put this drawer on the top so that it doesn't open anything else, you can do that. But fluid lines do fit. So I didn't know that. I'm glad I thought about putting those in there so I could show you guys. But um, paint pots definitely do not fit. I'll just put one in there to show you. And that's the paint pot. And it does not close. Ugh. So that's that and I wanted to go ahead and show you um, what else can we do here. Uh, let's try a palette by MAC. This new um, thicker version of the MAC palette. Oh, they do fit in there. So that fits in there as well. But if you try to stack um, this one on there, yeah, it won't close. On top of this palette, um, let's try stacking this Bon Jovi one. Oh, and that fits perfect as well. So that's another idea. All right, guys, I think I'm all out of ideas. Oh, okay, well, let's try Um, some of these Oz palettes. Yeah, these actually fit mm, kind of snug, so nothing else is going to fit on top of that. And so yeah, if you guys want to buy these drawers, you can. They are really um, versatile. You do have lots of options with them. But um, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. Oh, and these are the two drawers large. They're the ones that do not open up here. They do not open. I didn't want to put anything in there, so I just got the regular ones without the open lids. And they're stacked on top of each other. And as you can see, they fit perfectly. They do have some kind of rubber feet on the bottom here to grip on, which is really good. I will see you guys next time and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas on these storage drawers to see if you might want to purchase them or not if they are um, going to work for you guys or not so uh, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!